You know, even like when I used to be in Milwaukee, you know, all the all the bosses, you know, Jim Danny, the coldest dude ever in Milwaukee. When I say the coldest dude ever, he's the coldest dude ever as far as gambling and playing. He's the top five player. At 14 years old, this old man tucked me in. Wow. Tuck me in and raised me until he died. He died about about two years ago. He was 87. Oh. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, man. All, all, man, all my friends, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Big Al at uh, Peach Cobbler, and uh, he got he also got the club uh, 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 VVS and uh, the U-Bar Millionaire. You know what I'm saying? All my friends, I can just go down the line. They all millionaires. You know, they all rich. And, you know, they all welcome me to their crib. They never expect me to be that dude that's going to, you know, set them up and nothing like that. Right. I just had that spirit my entire life. You know what I'm wow. saying? I mean, and it, it was before <laughs> the celebrity, though. You know, even like when I used to be in Milwaukee, you know, all the all the bosses, you know, Jim Danny, the coldest dude ever in Milwaukee. When I say the coldest dude ever, he's the coldest dude ever as far as gambling and playing. He's the top five player. At 14 years old, this old man tucked me in. Wow. Tuck me in and raised me until he died. He died about about two years ago. He was 87. Oh, wow. Called me on the phone, talked to me, schooled me, gave me game. You know, uh, all the pimps, you know, uh, 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 Rob Robinson, you know, Tommy Dixon, you know, all the major pimps in the city, they all loved me. You know, everybody was, you know, uh, uh, one of our coldest uh, hustler ever, you know, he, he kind of like on some Valentina side, uh, Penitentiary Sam. Yeah. OG. Love me, man. I, I went to the feds and some when I got in the feds, these dudes, <laughs> they was the moles. I'm a mole now, it's crazy, right? So but I go in there, you know, uh they, they you know, they had the, the phone situation, the feds in the MCI, Memphis, MCI Chicago. So I'm in MCI Chicago, but I got a penitentiary, man. I tell you, I just got out. I ain't I ain't what I was saying, I I just got out of Green Bay was a real penitentiary. So I'm ready to throw them, you know, I'm I, I got penitentiary mentality, right? So I'm thinking, I'm going to whoop this dude. I didn't know all of them was together. And even Penitentiary Sam was with him. So Penitentiary Sam put me to the side. He said, man, they finna shank you. I said, shank me for what? All I told the nigga, was like, man, I, you know, it was just a phone dis dis dispute. You know, it wasn't even no major stuff. I wasn't no disrespect. They still want to do it. Yeah, so uh, this dude named Ross Bay, who was the leader, who's the grand sheet, he put me to the side, and we got to chopping up. And he heard me spit, you know, because I was a little fly dude. You know, I was spitting, right? I, I, mean, I had no vocab. I was just straight street shit. I'm talking a lot of street shit. He turned out to be a street dude. Mm -hmm. So he liked me. He said, man, this is my little partner. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with him. So he asked me to come to a meeting. He started teaching me about the Morris Science Temple and everything. You know, and that's how I got hooked up with him. And, you know, that saved my life. You know, and Sam, you know, all through the, the penitentiary, <coughs> he showed me all the tricks and trades of the game. You know what I'm saying? Me, so, you know. I just always had that, you know what I mean? It was never just the celebrities, but whoever was the top tier in any game, or well, they was street celebrities, you know, like Valentino, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Me and him, we talked to each other like fish tech to water, you know what I'm saying? We automatically hit off. You know, his cousin, Double D, may he rest in peace, we automatically hit off. You know, all his partners, Goldie McDowell, Burroughs, you know, it's just so many, Christ, Skinny, all of them, we automatically hit off. You know what I'm saying? So I had a, a good, Love and relationship in the streets. All the top dudes in the streets was the same. So when I went to the entertainment side, it was the same way. So it's got to be my character because I can't see, you know, I ain't got no magic wand or nothing to say, hey, you like me, 50 Cent. You <laughs> like me, Nelly. You know what I'm saying? So they just, they, everybody just, man, you know, even to this day, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, all the podcasters, you know, like, they you, love you. Yeah. Y'all all, you all love me and respect hey, yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.